after replacing a Moen 1225 cartridge my water flow is very weak. With the cartridge removed the water pressure coming out of the valve is great. Installed it is just a trickle. I tried swapping out the new cartridge with yet another new cartridge, same result. Welcome to Just Answer. I will do my best to fully answer your questions. You likely have a Moen Troll valve. See my link below. HTTPS colon slash www.google.com slash search. Site equals imp and tbm equals ish and source equals hp and bio equals 1024 and b equals 506 and q equals moentrol plus valve and oak equals moentrol and g's underscore l equals im.1.1.0 lhj0 i24 l2.1648.3465.0.7283 8.7.0.1.1.0.290.1229.2 j2 j3.7.0 0.1 acres.1.27.m.2.6.872.n5 90 p5 fisca hash facric equals underscore and m greek equals ftw6 ogx ox shkef h percent 3 a percent 3 by 2 of buke jp sion percent 3 bhttp percent 253 a percent 252 f percent 252 fww aspartsmaster.com percent 252 fimages percent 252 f catalog percent 252 phi underscore expo percent Percent two fifty two fman percent two fifty two fmo underscore ts two dot jpg percent three bhttp percent two fifty three a percent two fifty two f percent two fifty two f ww dot aspartsmaster dot com percent two fifty two fman mo troll tub shower valve schematic dot asks percent three b five hundred percent three b three twenty seven if link doesn't work try going to the moen dot com site and type in mo troll valve. To the left side of the cartridge you replace there is a balancing spool if this is limed up and not able to function properly the water flow shuts off through the valve. You can use a large flat blade screwdriver to unscrew it and then pull it out. Try to shake it, it should make a rattle sound. If it isn't rattling then it needs to be replaced. Temporarily though. You can try to free it up with some vinegar water. Usually they get hard water deposits built up and when they seize up you will get no flow through the faucet. The valve in my situation is different. It has not screws to the left or right side of where the cartridge goes in. Mine looks similar to this http colon slash farm four dot static dot flicker dot com slash thirty four twenty one slash three two nine two nine six four one seven five underscore seven sixteen say twenty three twenty three d dot jpg Is this just a shower, just a tub, or both? Both. If water comes out of valve with the cartridge removed. But no water pressure out of both tub spout nor shower head then there must be a blockage of debris in the pipe leading to the spout. Sometimes it can be some hard water scaling from removing the cartridge. Also common is a small piece of rubber seal from the old cartridge. You may need to try a thin piece of wire to work it into the piping. I have never had the type of faucet you have plugged up like that before. Usually it is plugged on either the hot or cold inlet side of the valve. But so long as you have pressure into the valve you should have water coming out of the tub spout. This may require removal slash replacement of the entire valve I'm sorry to bring that bad news. First verify that both hot and cold water is able to flush through the inlet sides of the valve again. Remove the cartridge. Turn off the valve at your hot water heater. Turn on the cold see if water flies out. Then turn off cold water main. Then open hot. 
there should be enough pressure left on the hot side to push a small amount of hot water flying out the valve to verify hot side is not clogged. Once you verify you have both hot and cold getting through the valve then the clog must be in the piping to the tub spout outlet. Maybe even both spout and shower head. Hard to determine from cyberspace. Thanks for the thoughtful and thorough response. How difficult would you say it is to replace the valve housing for an rookie like me? I have some experience soldering but have never tackled a project like this. It depends on how much room you have to work with. By that I mean, do you have the room to cut the piping without studs and other bracing in the way? Is there enough copper piping to be able to cut the old out and replace it? Sometimes we end up UN soldering a joint to reuse it again because there is no room to add a coupling. Are you able to remove all the water inside the piping to be able to solder? Are you able to solder without burning up the house? LOL but not really funny. If you have tight areas to solder and it takes a little finesse to not burn up the studs, supports, drywall, and the other side of the tub wall. If you think you have the ability to address these issues comfortably then you should be able to tackle it. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.